What's up, I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the Lenovo A720 All-in-One Desktop. Today's All-in-Ones are sleeker, more powerful versions of their predecessors, but they frequently come with tricks with their proverbial sleeves to help them stand out from desktops and laptops. Lenovo's A720 promotes itself as a media-rich device that also allows its users to interact with content in new and innovative ways. So is this the ultimate all-in-one on the market? Let's find out. The A720 that we reviewed was powered by a third generation Intel Core i5-3210M processor running at 2.5GHz that can be boosted up to 3.1GHz via turbo. It came with 6GB of RAM and was supplemented by an NVIDIA GeForce GT 630M video card with 1GB of graphical memory. It came with a 500GB hard drive spinning at 5400RPM and content was displayed on a 27-inch Full HD display that supported 10-point multi-touch and had a native resolution of 1920 by 1080 The system comes with a Blu-ray player as well as two USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0 ports as well as HDMI in and out ports. Rounding out the system are a wireless keyboard and mouse, TV tuner, and 6-in-1 card reader. We were very impressed by the look of the A720, which looks rather slick thanks to its slim design and clean lines. The majority of the computer's hardware is held within the base of the unit, a small rectangular stand with twin speakers in the front that also hosts the slot-loaded Blu-ray player, card reader, and all of the ports for the system. These are primarily arrayed on the rear of the machine. We found that the placement of the ports helped reduce clutter and made the unit seem even further streamlined. This extended to the frameless touchscreen, which is extremely thin and held in place by a small flexible stand that suspends the screen completely above your desk. The overall effect makes the desktop not really appear to be a computer at all, but a floating television screen. And quick glances at the system can actually make you do a double take, especially if you're watching television or a movie on the screen. The articulation of the stand is also a significant feature for the A720 because it allows the display of the system to shift from a vertical to completely flat position. That might seem like a strange feature, but it actually has a number of benefits. For one thing, it emphasizes the multi-touch capacity of the screen, which allows you to use 10 points of contact simultaneously to interact with your content. This usually comes in handy when you're typing rapidly via the on-screen keyboard, or you're playing some of the touch-sensitive games that come with the system. More importantly, flattening the screen virtually eliminates viewing angle issues. That means you can easily gather a group around and watch a movie, play a game, or interact with content without any issues. That's a major bonus for any all-in-one. We were also struck by the performance of the system, which was incredibly quiet. In fact, it was very hard to tell the all-in-one was actually on because you could barely hear anything running unless you used the optical drive, at which point you detect the whir of the spinning disk. This was true even after hours of work on the system or putting it under significant load. We couldn't even hear a fan running. It was nice to know that we wouldn't have to yell over the desktop. We were also pleased by the fact that the system booted up quickly. We noticed that it started in less than 30 seconds from a cold boot to full touchscreen interaction on the desktop. What's more, it was able to handle multitasking without a problem, so multiple browser windows, video, image processing, all of this was done without issue. Thanks to the video card, we could also launch and enjoy a number of games at very playable frame rates. As we mentioned before, touchscreen functionality is a main feature of the A720, and the system comes with an entertainment center that packs camera games that uses the webcam for the computer. It also has a suite of touch-sensitive programs like air hockey, curling, and a touch-enabled version of Angry Birds. Additionally, it comes with DVD burning and DVD player software and webcam programs. There is even a maintenance suite providing repairs for the system at the tips of your fingers. Finally, we noticed that the audio presentation for the A720 was loud, ridiculously loud. In fact, we found that we often needed to turn the volume down for certain songs or movies because the speakers were pumping out a surprising amount of volume. We could further customize the sound profile for the system via the Dolby Home Theater V4 control panel, customizing movies, music, and gaming audio presets. However, testing out the sound raised some obvious issues. First of all, even though the sound was loud, bass from the system was rather light. It was there, but compared to other speakers for other computers, it's very thin. Even if you manage to massage the settings of the Dolby panel, you're not going to boost the bass or the low tone significantly. Although we like the flexibility of the monitor and the ability to essentially eliminate all viewing angle issues, video on the system could show up as grainy and slightly pixelated. We especially noticed that blacks and darker tones on the system showcased a lot of visual noise, which definitely detracted from the screen even with its adjustability. 
This isn't something that's adjustable by tweaking brightness and contrast settings either, so video is, at times, less than ideal. One minor issue that we had was while the 10-point multi-touch touchscreen was excellent for physical interaction with content, it still had moments when input was lost or wasn't tracked properly. We noticed this at times when we were using the on-screen keyboard or the handwriting feature, or if we were playing some of the programs in the entertainment center. For example, the curling program isn't as sensitive as you'd hope it would be, nor is the fireworks app. Considering that there aren't a lot of specific updates that you can expect, or even additional touch-enabled programs that you can download with the system, the oddities that crop up definitely stand out. The other minor issue that we had was that the base of the computer was incredibly heavy and unwieldy. A certain amount of this is to be expected because the majority of the system components are in the base, but the weight of the system was rather significant. Unlike other all-in-ones where you can easily move the computer from room to room, this is a system that you'll set up and you won't move again. The Lenovo A720 All-in-One is a powerful and visually striking system that was incredibly quiet during operation. The multi-touch functionality draws users in, and the system is a great presentational piece, especially because of its ability to place the display completely flat. Unfortunately, we did run into some multimedia issues with the system, such as the limited base and the grainy video, as well as some weight and touchscreen sensitivity issues. But overall, we like this particular desktop, which is why we decided to give the Lenovo A720 All-in-One a 4 out of 5. For the latest coupons and deals on systems like the Lenovo A720 All-in-One, be sure to go to techbargains.com slash Lenovo. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com slash YouTube. And to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, be sure to go to techbargains.com slash videos.